missionary with the Bible. Um, I'm planning on being a missionary. And, and maybe I've been doing too many videos with the Bible in it. Uh, and I've been determined to do more spiritual videos that were not as much biblical. When I am a missionary, you know, I want to share in the fellowship of other Christians. I want to um, spread the love of Christ and you can't get that from the Bible and the love of Christ is not from the Bible it's written about in the Bible but it's not it's not from the Bible you know I want to share in the fellowship that we have and have spiritual fellowship with prophesying uh, since I am a prophet and with people speaking in tongues which is mostly a sign for unbelievers Paul says with people teaching by the Holy Spirit you know the main thing I want to come with come to them with is is the family of God and as the family of God because the fellowship and the um, and the love and the spiritual gifts are more important than the Bible. I think the assumption is missionaries come with a Bible or they come to translate the Bible. And I don't think that can be primary. That can't be primary in a Christian's life. In a Christian missionary, um, they can't be focused on the Bible. The Bible has those has stories in it. It has commands in it. But is that to be compared with the living life we have in Christ? And no, it's not. I don't intend to come with a Bible primarily. I don't intend to come with a Bible mostly, and I don't intend to come with a Bible primarily to Christian to 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 um the people in Africa and wherever God sends me. It is, you know, and, and a lot of missionaries are translating the Bible. It is not the main thing. The life in Christ is the main thing. The Bible is not spirit. Jesus said, these words I speak to you are spirit and they are life. The Bible isn't spirit. It's it's ink on paper. And I get sick of people glorifying the Bible or supposedly glorifying the Bible. I don't believe they do. They do glorify the Bible. Um, in churches and wherever it would be. We're here to teach people. We're here to teach people Christ. And that is more than reading. You know, if you, if you, if you, if you turn the Christian life into reading and in hearing what is read from the Bible, you take the heart out of, out of, out of, the, out of, out of Christianity. It's not about reading and hearing people read. It amazes me that people are so ignorant that they think that. I had a man tell, tell me, and I've heard it before, Jesus is the Bible. No, he's not. Was the Bible hung on the tree? Was the Bible spotless? The spotless Lamb of God? No. What we need is a spiritual 
life in Christ. The Bible says, the Bible says, not in words of human wisdom, lest the cross of Christ be emptied of its power. And you listen to people on the in the pulpits on Sunday at church, and it's the wisdom of man. And, and the Bible says in that situation, the cross of Christ is emptied of its power. It's about the family of God. When the Bible talks about the family of God, we're not supposed to re just read the family of God. We're supposed to be the family of God. And that's by the power of God through Jesus Christ. When it talks about love, we're not supposed to just read about love. The Bible says, do not listen to the word in James. Do not listen to the word and thus deceive yourselves. Do what it says. So the Bible, so, so the Bible talks in James, not about a written, not about a, a written word. It doesn't say ju just read the word and do not read the word only. But it says do not hear the word only. There is a message in Christ to his people and to those who are not his people. It's the gospel for one. And it's the building up, the edification of the people of God for two. It says, do not merely listen. Listen, not read. Do not merely listen to the word. And thus deceive yourselves. Do what it says in James. Probably James 3 or 4 or something like that. I'd say probably James 3 or 4, maybe 2. Do not merely listen to the word and thus deceive yourselves. That's a deception to listen to the word, listen to the word, and not do what it says. And people aren't just reading the Bible when it says listen to the word. It's not just saying, well, somebody's reading the Bible. It's a spiritual power. The fellowship. The fellowship in the spirit, not in the Bible. So, I want to and I plan to Take Christ there. I don't want to go over there and read them Bible stories. That is completely and utterly ignorant. Completely and utterly ignorant to go over there and read them Bible stories and Bible commands. It is a manual. It is not our life. The Bible says Christ who is your life. I want to bring them the life of Christ. I don't want to bring them scriptures. They can read the scriptures on their own. In Africa, they have the Bible in Swahili. If they can get a Bible in Swahili, they can read on their own. And in which case, for the standard typical missionary, there is no need for a missionary. What we need is Christ injected in the United States and in Africa. And wherever God sends his people to do his will.